This video is intended to serve as a guide for new players who are currently progressing through the game, have completed their story, are either on normal or hard, and potentially doing this a lot, to now doing this on heroic and enjoying the end game grind as efficiently and easily as possible. Welcome to New Player Now What? Now before we delve too far into this there are two confessions I must make and two things that you need to understand. One, the Cheska chest I'm running is from another build on another character. It is maxed out so I'm not using a mod for it or have any mods equipped in it but it is a maxed out full red Cheska chest with obliterate simply just because Cheska is currently not dropping on the map. However, Strikers is, and I wanted to get this video done today, so the chest is not going to be an accurate performance teller. However, like I said, I am not using a mod in that chest, which will hopefully offset some of the DPS you may or may not see. Second one being that my recalibration bench is maxed out. There are going to be times where I rec recalibrate items, which does mean that they will be getting maxed out. I can't buy a new account or a new version of the game just to do these videos. So what you see me do in 20 minutes will possibly take you a day or two as you will need to grind out those stats. However, I do show certain points where I get very high rolls, even on challenging, so it is not impossible. Now, one thing to bear in mind is this is my fresh out of Woni character. I have used a grand total of 17 points on this character, and they are all in weapon damage, so I have 2.4% increase in weapon damage from the watch. I have nothing in crit chance or crit damage, which is all completely natural and from the build. So, now we've got the uh, caveats and disclaimers out of the way. We're going to go with Strikers simply just because of the simple fact of it is the highest DPS set you can get without one-shotting things and utilising DPS in that manner. Strikers will be for your ARs, your LMGs and SMGs the highest DPS. However, I will recommend an AR. SMGs you tend to get close, Strikers lacks utility. LMGs you tend to suppress a lot of enemies which then means you need to close the gap. Strikers lacks utility. A very good balance for a middle ground on this is going to be ARs. However, ARs themselves are also very, very balanced. At this point in time, the AR I am using is purple. I have a Rikers holster and a Cheska chest which is from my box as previously stated and the strikers pieces were previously farmed at another time when trying to do this video so all I have done so far while jabbering on is try to recollect those strikers pieces which will bring my damage down and what I'm doing in this area now is trying to just simply get a Fenris holster ideally you will want strikers backpack gloves knees and holster simply because of what we want on the mask slot however i've not been lucky enough to get that yet so i am just going with mask backpack gloves and needs and i'm working with the cheska chest with obliterate getting a cheska chest with obliterate is all you need i wouldn't worry too much about the rolls just make sure it's cheska and make sure it's got obliterate even if it's got status effect and has pro on it it really is irrelevant we just need 10% crit chance and obliterate. For this we are going to need to basically try and get as much as possible into our crit chance. Don't worry about crit damage, obliterate will take care of the damage side as well as the four piece strikers utilizing the backpack. For this we are also going to need a high RPM semi-decent assault rifle that you are comfortable with. I would not suggest dropping below 790 RPM, so Carbine 7 and up essentially, preferably a FAMAS due to the fire rate. This will allow you to build and maintain your stacks as quickly as possible. The overall build up for this is going to be quite messy. I wouldn't worry too much about 
other things that you have going on, the main things that you will need to keep in mind is 70% all weapon damage and 50% crit chance. Preferably as well with a semi-decent weapon that has damage to targets out of cover on it and a talent that can be of use. Once you have this, you can put the difficulty up to challenging and essentially all you will be doing is starting the grind again. By a talent that is of use, I do not actually mean a damage talent. What I mean by this is a talent that allows you to have some utility while using strikers. Although strikers is very powerful and will do a hell of a lot of damage, it really does lack utility. So for this, I would suggest either Future Perfect or Preservation. Fast Hands is another comfortable one. However, the choice is really up to you. These are just my recommendations. Once you have a decent AR with a decent talent that you are comfortable with, you can put the difficulty up. I would suggest while building up, ideally, we will want a Grupo chest and a Coyote's mask. However, while you're building up your watch, you would more than likely get better use out of a Seska chest and Coyote's mask. While I'm building up, my goal here was to get four piece strikers, a Seska chest, and then I was going for a Fenris holster. However, the game didn't want to drop it for me, so I've just crafted a Grupo holster. Now I am recalibrating my gear so that I'm able to get as high a crit chance as possible with whatever I can afford to put into crit damage. While progressing as well, I'm not forgetting to check the specialization. For something like Strikers, I would recommend utilizing Gunner due to one, the armor on kill, two, the ammo regeneration strikers is going to absolutely burn through your ammo so it is absolutely worthwhile going for gunner in this situation now i also did craft myself a new famas annoyingly it came with measured so i've just got rid of measured and i've put preservation on which is going to help me stay alive while i farm my new build i still don't have maxed out damage and my damage is not going to be the best however Adding in preservation just allows me to stay alive and push content a little bit better. Hopefully you can see and it's not too fast that I am healing pretty consistently with every kill. 10% armor on kill from Gunner. It's the first thing I put in. And then preservation on body kill. That's 20% armor on kill. Headshot kill is a 30% armor on kill. It just adds a bit of utility and helps you stay alive. Don't have to worry too much about doing damage as long as you can stay out the uh, line of sight of the enemy's path. That mask I just picked up on challenging was very close to a max roll on weapon hand weapon damage, and it was a maxed roll on critical hit damage, and it's on challenging. So getting max roll pieces is completely possible on this difficulty. You don't need to smack it up to heroic. It might well it will take a bit longer due to the lower difficulty however it is like i said entirely possible all i'm doing now that i've got it on challenging is i'm just reinventing my grind essentially and i'm just finding pieces i'm focused more on the weapon damage i'm rolling crit chance and crit damage on where i need because they're going to be the more important values to get them as high as possible so they're things that i can continually update so all i'm looking for is strikers pieces that i currently have equipped anyway mask backpack gloves and knees and i'm just looking for ones that have a higher percentage on the weapon damage re-rolling always picking up mats re-rolling and then essentially just starting again rinse and repeat i'm trying to focus using a little bit of in-game knowledge on areas within the target loot that will have at least a named enemy dropping every so often the area where i am at now on the left hand side of constitution hall near the washington monument 
There is typically either a propaganda outpost or a territory control here. Every 30 minutes there'll be a name delete that likes running around. So he is a good one to farm because he will always drop one piece of targeted loot. And being the fact that he's a named elite, it should theoretically be slightly better in quality, which allows me to, as long as it's the right piece I'm looking for, allows me to upgrade my build and push forward. When we can, I'm not going to do it in this playthrough as I have about 30 in my box, but when we can, we are going to try and find either a mask target loot area or we're going to go to Jefferson Trade Center to try and beat up Coyote, see if she will drop her mask for us, the lovely Coyote's mask. And that should be on the cards of things to do. However, it is not really going to be an absolute prerequisite at this point. The main thing I would focus on is one Cheska, one Grupo, four piece strikers. We do not need to worry about the striker's chest at this point, just for the simple fact of there is literally no way in which you are going to be able to get to 200 stacks at the moment. Even if you have a very poorly optimized build, most enemies and then all enemies will die by the time you hit at least 70 stacks. There is no point putting the striker's chest on. Striker's backpack is gonna offer you a lot more bang for your buck. So once you've got your pieces roughly to where you want them, always remember to put items in your recalibration bench. If you're wanting a guide on how to use the recalibration bench and optimizations and crafting, the man himself, Hutchler, has done a great video on this. There will be a link in the description below, which gives you a pretty detailed, succinct walkthrough on how to use crafting, recalibration, optimization, as well as expertise when you get to that point. Now, hopefully by this point, we've got some good rolls we can put on our gear. We should be rocking between 45 and 55% critical hit chance, hopefully. Just, this will just allow us to maximize the uh, potential gains from Obliterate. And from there, we are able to just completely steamroll our way through challenging. All we're gonna be doing at this point is just fine tuning those random little bits. Hopefully as well, the reason I'm here is to pick up a shotgun. Strikers works exceedingly well with a shotgun. A lot of people will argue the ACS-12 due to the fire rate, as well as the simple fact that it does actually hit pretty damn hard. However, I'm kind of partial to the M870, so I'm going to go with an M870. It is entirely up to you. Feel free to try whatever one you want. And then after that, I'm back off to grind more Strikers. Again, just a quick reminder that I have no points in my Keener's watch, so I don't have the 10% crit chance, the 20% crit damage. All of this is just done pure natural. Every stat I have, minus 2.4% weapon damage is coming from the build itself. And it has taken me a grand total of 42 minutes to hit challenging with a pretty decently optimized build. You probably will not be able to do this as you will need to grind out your recalibration bench as well while doing this as well if you do get bored of farming out individual pieces and slowly but surely increasing your optimizations on your build a good side task is going to be control points at challenging or higher that's level three or level four i would recommend trying to keep them at level three i wouldn't say you're that ready for heroic just yet although it is possible maybe if you are in a group the reason for this is you can get blueprints for either crafted gear or even including weapon attachments weapon attachments are going to be very useful for you it can give you a 50 round mag at the moment i'm still rocking a 40 round mag I'm missing a crit chance attachment for the muzzle. I'm also missing a few crit damage attachments just simply because I haven't done the control points yet. Now, we're finalizing our build. We've hopefully optimized, not optimized, recalibrated as much as possible. I would not recommend actually going into the optimization 
on your bench when i say optimize i mean got as high rolls as you could potentially get got a few levels in put a few more points into your watch hopefully when you're feeling a bit more optimal and comfortable in your playstyle and challenging is feeling like less of a challenge you will need one chess guard one grupo four piece strikers including the backpack or cheska coyotes or if you've got enough crit chance go for go for grupo coyotes we can then start thinking about upping our difficulty to heroic the jump to heroic is quite difficult it will catch you by surprise if you're used to running a shield you'll probably find that where your shield was once able to allow you to be quite tanky and stay alive and come in clutch at those opportune moments now if you face tank too much is a death sentence the reason for this is enemies will hit considerably harder they are i kind of want to say more tactical they're not they're still dumb as hell but they will rush you a lot more shotgunners will basically start one tapping you if not you're gonna, definitely going to get two tapped snipers will near enough one shot you every single time and if you come across those pesky black tusk the uh mini tanks or what we affectionately call wallies or their warhounds will absolutely ruin you so here we have my coyote's mask we're just gonna swap a mod around we've got one mod in our build we now have a chest gut chest with obliterate a coyote's mask four piece strikers and we are now on heroic this has been a grand total of about 50 five minutes to do like i said the only difference is going to be you grinding out your recalibration bench however it shouldn't be that difficult you should easily easily get them to a decent level of where you'd be able to progress this maybe an hour or two behind where i'm at as we can see heroic instantly does letting me know what's up by nearly enough killing me but luckily we have preservation on our ar and with a good few striker stacks as well as holding our ground and playing a little bit more to our comfort and hiding in cover we are now able to do a heroic control point the main difference between me doing this and newer players doing this is going to be the level of experience we have in the game and i don't mean character experience i just mean the way in which you play i'm trying to stick to my corners utilize angles as well as pick off enemies that i know can either benefit me or are going to be a direct threat it's called target prioritization from here just because i know where the enemies are going to spawn i'm going to lay a little trap for them but first i'm going to clear the area get blinded in the process and as soon as the area is clear i'm going to pop the signal to call the allies to take over the control point and from here i know all i've got to do is guard these two drains i'm going to keep an eye out for enemies that have the foam tank on their back as well as enemies that have the explosive backpack which are going to help me do more damage to the surrounding enemies as well as help them cc shotgun here is coming in handy shotguns on striker builds are very very powerful allowing you to do instant burst of damage and will probably kill most things and there you have it we're on heroic. Have fun. Good luck. Don't die. It's bad for the health.